Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to DJ TLM TV. My name is DJ TLM, and today I want to take a look and see what's new in Serato DJ 1.6. Now, you might remember that I did a video at the end of last year, and I talked about the end of Serato Scratch Live, and that was when Serato released Serato DJ 1.5, which was their first installment of Serato DJ to support DVS. Now, what that means is Serato DJ normally was software to use with controllers, DJ controllers but now you can use Serato DJ with your time code on vinyl or CD. So you could use it with turntables and CD players. Of course, 1.5 only worked with two specific mixers. And that was the latest mixer by Rain, the 64, and the latest mixer from Pioneer, the DJM 900 SRT. That's the mixer that I'm using in my Scratch tutorial series. And I'm using Serato DJ 1.5 for those tutorials as well. And yeah, of course, that meant that a lot of people couldn't use it yet because you're probably not going to buy one of the most expensive mixers out there, the 64 and the DJM 900, just so that you can use that new software, especially because they already announced that 1.6 was coming at the beginning of 2014, and that would include hardware support for the other RAIN devices. So that time has finally come. And that means that if you get Serato DJ 1.6, you can now use it with your SL2, your SL3, your SL4, or your 62, your 68. There is one big disappointing factor, and that disappointing factor came when they announced 1.5. That was that they already announced that they were no longer doing updates for Serato Scratch Live, but more importantly, their oldest hardware the SL1 and the TTM57 would not get support for Serato DJ in the future, ever. That's because the hardware is just a little bit older than all their other models. So if you're a SL1 user like myself, you cannot take advantage of the 1.6 release because you can never use Serato DJ with the SL1 or the TTM57. Now, of course, you can still rock Serato Scratch Live and it will work just fine, but there never will be new updates. You can still get support, but you can't expect new updates. So if you're gonna use it professionally, you might have to consider making that transition and upgrading to a SL2 or 3 or get a different mixer, but that's up to you. If you're using it for home recording and you don't need every new feature that comes out for Serato DJ, you might just want to stick with Serato Scratch Live. But okay, 1.6 is out now. If you have any of the newer Rain hardware, you can now use it with your digital vinyl system, with your time code on turntables and CD players. So that's very cool. That makes it a very important update. And Serato DJ works the same as Serato Scratch Live. It has the same look and feel, but it is a little bit newer and they have included a couple of new updates that make it even better to use. One thing I liked about Serato Scratch Live is that I could name my cue points. You have five cue points, Serato DJ had eight, but you couldn't name those cue points. And if you have cue points in a lot of your songs and you make special cue points for special points in the song, like the first cue point is at my first beat. I don't have to name that. I know my first cue point is gonna be the beginning. Most of the times, Sometimes I make that cue point for something special, like if there's a special uh, um, sound before the beat starts, whatever, you might wanna name that. And I could do that in Scratch Live, couldn't do that in Serato DJ, but now with the 1.6 update, you can name all eight cue points. So that's a very cool, simple update, but it can be very useful, especially if you have eight cue points. You're not gonna remember what eight cue points in the track are. So if you can name them and call that one first beat or call that one break or whatever you wanna call it, that helps. Now, another update that is very cool for some people is that the Serato DJ 1.6 update includes Quantize. Now you might not be familiar with Quantize, but if you have your music analyzed, in Serato, then there is a beat grid on every track. And Quantize will automatically pull anything that you record uh, to the closest beat grid point. That's a little technical maybe. Let me explain it like this. If you wanna make a cue point, normally if I make a cue point, I'm gonna do that before I play the song. 
And even if it's in a club, I'll grab the song before I play it, cue it on the headphone, find a point where I want my cue point, put the vinyl in the right position, check my screen to make sure it's at the right point, the beginning of a kick drum for instance, then I press Q to make my cue point. But if I wanted to do that while the track was playing, a lot of times if you press the cue point, you might not press it exactly at the right point and you might press it just a little bit too early. So when you hit it again, it doesn't start straight on the kick but a little bit before that so the timing is off or a little bit too late and you don't get that beginning of the sound that you want and you missed attack of that sound. With Quantize, if you have your songs analyzed, if the song is playing and I wanna press that cue point on the one, uh, I might not be exactly on point but Quantize will pull it exactly to that first point, to the one, to make sure that it's exactly where it should be. So it allows you to make cue points live and make sure that they're tight. So if you work a lot with cue points on the fly, that's a very cool feature to have. It's not that big a feature, but it could be very useful. But for me, most of my cue points are made in advance. Now there are two big updates available, and I say available, for Serato DJ 1.6. And this was a bit disappointing because they are cool features. At least one of the features is very cool. And that is an expansion pack by Pitch and Time. And this allows you to use time stretch the way it should work and use key lock the way it should work. If you're not familiar with key lock or master tempo, you had that function in Serato DJ and in Serato Scratch Live. If you enable that function, you can speed up your song or slow it all the way down, but the pitch, the key of the sound stays the same. But it didn't work that good, that well in Serato Scratch Live and Serato DJ. I could hear it, that it started to mess up the music. So I never used key lock. But with pitch and time, they make a very good time stretching software. And now if you're gonna use key lock with 1.6, if you have that expansion pack, you can make extreme tempo switches and the key will stay the same. So that could be very cool to use, but it's an expansion pack and you have to buy it. So that was a bit disappointing because it would be cool if that would just be included in the update, but you're gonna have to buy that and that's $29. So it's not a whole lot of money, but still it would be cool if they would just give you that. The second one is also an expansion pack. So once again, you're gonna have to buy it. This one is $19 and it's called a Jetpack expansion and it includes a couple of new effects. So you can check the Serato website and see what that is all about. And if you feel that it's interesting enough to buy that. The Pitch and Time DJ Expansion Pack could be very cool. I mean, I never really messed with the key lock, but especially if you wanna try out different type of things with songs that have totally different tempos, it could be a very cool feature. So, Serato wants you to get Serato DJ. They want you slowly to make that transition from Serato Scratch Live to Serato DJ. And what are you gonna do? I asked the question in my old video, the end of Serato Scratch Live, and I already told you that I'm definitely gonna upgrade my hardware and go with Serato DJ in the future because I don't only have to get a new sound card, I also need to upgrade my MacBook because I'm using a 2007 MacBook and the specifications on that are not new enough to work with Serato DJ. So that's a bigger investment and that's why it's gonna take me a little bit of time. But now that I see that Serato DJ is getting more and more updates and it's getting better, it motivates me to try and make that transition faster. But for now, I'll be using Serato DJ at home because I'm using it on my studio computer with the Pioneer 900, the SRT, so I can use it here. But if I'm on the road, I'm still gonna be using Serato Scratch Live with my SL1 for the time being, and that's gonna work just fine. I'm gonna be able to rock the crowd and do my thing regardless, but I will make that transition. What are you gonna do? Are you pleased with the fact that you can now use it with your existing hardware if you have one of the newer models? Do you like the functions? Do you feel that the expansion pack should have been just free updates? Or do you feel it's normal? With a lot of software, it is normal that expansion packs are optional to buy, but the features that they offer, especially good tempo, uh, master tempo key lock, 
I think that should be a feature that should just be included in an update for free. That's my opinion. Now, one quick note, I wanna apologize that it's been taking too long to release new videos. I was on a roll, I was giving you quite a lot of footage. I still wanna give you more, but the last two weeks, it's been very slow. The next edition, the next part of my Scratch tutorial series is coming in one or two days. And the first part of my mix tutorial series is coming in one or two days as well. So I'm gonna be hitting you with more footage because you need more videos. I was promising to deliver, so that's what I'm gonna do. And this Saturday is gonna be time for the next Saturday session. And I'm gonna pick a beat with a totally different tempo than the last two sessions. So get ready for that as well. I hope you enjoyed this info. If you want more, go check the Serato website and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you're gonna do. Click like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. Check the existing tutorials and videos out there. Go check djtlmtv.com. The new site is now online. Still working on it, but it is online. You can check it out and you can find all my djtlm info on that site as well. All right, guys, I'll be back. Until next time, peace.